Hello everyone. Today I'd like to show you hopefully something you may have never seen in a model kit before. Maybe some of you have. But this is the old original mold of the Ravel 132nd scale F4E Phantom 2. <clears throat> in 32nd scale it was made here in the United States but they issued a version in uh, Japan and that's what this is. It came in an extra large box uh, with beautiful artwork. Um, it was around 1975-76, uh, first time I ever saw it. Um, I bought one back then and built it. You know, the old kit wasn't too good compared to the new Revell F4 Phantoms. But uh, the box art is what sold me. And I guess I've always been a sucker for box art. But the box is dated 1976. So I guess that uh, confirms what I think as far as the time frame goes. Um, I bought this probably oh, more than 20 years ago on eBay. It had been the first time I'd seen one. I haven't seen one since. I haven't been looking. But I have been looking for the... Uh, Air Force's version was done in Japan, but the also the Navy version was done in Japan, and it had a large uh, box, special uh, artwork and stuff from Japan. The box is pretty uh, sturdy. It's not one of these flimsy ones. It has uh, the graphics along the side and um, it says here 1975 by Ravel Inc. made in Japan printed in Japan and then on the other side it had the uh, artwork of other Ravel 132nd scale and as you can see there was a MiG-21 PF and there was also a F4F Phantom in German markings, which I have not seen. I never saw that one here in the States. But I'll take the top off. It came with instructions printed in Japan. Uh, in uh, Japanese and the guy who owned this also I guess felt that it should have a set of uh, American prints from their uh, F4 Phantom so he did include that but one of the nice things about this kit was the Japanese version included this very large um modeling guide and it was in full color front and back if I can do this justice and then on the inside it had the placement for the decals and it came with a load of decals As you can see, the, the kit is still all sealed in its original parts bags. And like I said, it is the old original American issue F4 Phantom from the old Wayback Machine. Everything is still in sealed bags. I love that extra pamphlet that they put in there. It made a horrible kit look so great.
But uh, like I said, you didn't see them that often over here in the States. You didn't... Uh, like I said, I, I think why I ran into it was uh, the first time was in a little hobby shop. I uh, had one. And like I said, the, the Navy version to me... I think was a very large painting of a um, VF-111 Sundowners uh, F4J. Uh, that was the Navy version. And uh, it was uh, issued in Japan. But I think it was flying over the jungle in like a three quarters away from you kind of view. Uh, same large box and everything, extra decals. Um, well, not extra decals, but, you know, a, a, a fully um, fully uh, with, you know, I just, for back in those days, it had everything on it, the walkways, the do not steps, um, for weapons, stuff like that. So it was quite impressive to see a set of decals uh, that were that complete. Although some of the old Revell uh, large kits had good decal sheets, but nothing compared to what this thing had. And uh, so when I found this one, the box is almost in 100% mint condition. Uh, the instructions, the decals, uh, the kit itself still being sealed in bags, uh, and everything just made it that much more uh, valuable to me. I uh, think I paid back then maybe, I don't think it was over $40 for it. And I thought that was high back then because you could get the Revell ones for before they issued the brand new ones. Um, you could get them for less than twenty dollars, I believe. But uh, like I said, I've only seen them uh, occasionally. I've seen far more of the Air Force version. Um, I did see one of the Navy versions, but I didn't buy it, unfortunately. And uh, I've never been able to see the Navy one or that uh, German version uh, in a box. So, um, can't, you know, it, it, I can only show you, the, tell you what I've seen, but I can't give you production dates or anything else. But they did a lot of Revell kits and they were uh, done in Japan. And I think in some of the 30 second scale fighter kits, um, one or two of them, especially the Japanese aircraft, may have been um, Hesegawa aircraft. I don't know. Um, but I've seen the Jack, uh, the Zero, and the Tony. I still have a Tony. Um, so I know that uh, I know that one's got to be Hesegawa because uh, Ravel, I don't believe, ever did that one here in the United States. And let's see, what else? Did, oh, they did some of the 72nd scale Revell aircraft reissued in, Jap in, uh, in Japan. And then, like I said, I think it was some of the ways to uh, box up maybe some of the other manufacturers' uh, kits in Japan. I know that there for a while, Hesagawa had the 148 scale uh, B-29 I think in two different versions. I think they did the B-17. I don't know if they did the B-24. But when you find them over here, <clears throat> people are wanting a couple hundred dollars for them and uh, not ready to pay for that. But uh, I noticed the new B-29 that came out from Ravel, Germany had photo etch, and I think they were asking like $175 for it. And... Uh, I picked up one the other day off of eBay. That's the, the was the last version uh, done 
in the United States that had the uh, uh, two sets of propellers in it, uh, had some extra pieces molded for it. I think it had two types of radar domes, may have been in the original one, but it looked like the um, fuselage had been re-engineered uh, or maybe re-machined because the really bad oil canning effect that was uh, in the old tired mold was gone in the fuselage halves. They looked back to being smooth like they did when they were brought out back in the 70s. <clears throat> and uh, I was thinking that maybe HK or somebody would probably have done a 30 second scale B29 by now. Uh, I believe that the 30 second scale B-17s, B-24s, A-26 uh, are out and maybe we'll get something oh B-25s in several versions maybe we'll get something new uh, in the next couple years in uh, 30 second scale American aircraft uh, I know they did the the uh, Lancaster maybe they'll do the Halifax but enough on those, but I just wanted to show this tonight. Hopefully you'll enjoy it. Um, like I said, I have not seen it before. Um, in the last oh, 20 or 30 years, so it can, it's got to be kind of rare. And uh, it was a definite improvement over the boxing of the American version of it. But it was still the same old tired kit which if you worked your guts out on you could have made it you, you could make it a halfway decent F4 but when they redid the F4s uh, when Revell redid the F4s probably back in the 2000 range they were pretty doggone nice and they were a lot cheaper than the Tamiya uh, versions and uh, didn't have the detail, didn't have all the, the hundreds of extra parts, but for the money, they were probably the the best. I also like the Revell um, F-14 Tomcat. And uh, I did a, they had a version of the 132nd scale F-16C. They had all the stores and everything, the tanks and all. That was, that could be built into a really nice looking kit. So all in all, I sort of look at it sometimes as I don't need 500 parts because you're not going to see them all. You know they're there, but you're not going to see them. And uh, it just becomes to the point of how much is too much. But anyway, hope you all enjoyed. You all have a good evening. Be safe. Thank you. If you like what you've seen, if you please hit the like button. Maybe let uh, uh, YouTube know that uh, people are enjoying these and watching them. So if you have a good one, talk to you later. Bye.